from the team covering the cruise industry. Here's your cruise news with John Keane. <laughs> oh, 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 that Ernie Weissman, he kills me. Oh, <clears throat> hello, I'm John Keane and welcome to Cruise News. Another doozy of a week inside the cruise industry. Let's get right to today's headlines. Carnival Cruise Lines reports a 30-year-old woman gave birth to a baby girl last week on the Carnival Paradise as the ship was returning to California. As shocking as it was, it was even more shocking to learn that the baby's father was none other than fun ship Freddy himself. Wow, that baby's destined to be a cruise ship captain. Recently, Al and Tipper Gore have called it quits in their once resilient marriage. In a mutual agreement, they've decided to go their separate ways. Though no infidelity was mentioned, our Cruise News team has discovered that Al is secretly having an affair with Mother Nature. <laughs> Princess Cruise Lines is getting some free airtime as the dry docking of the Sea Princess is being featured on National Geographic Channel's top-rated show, World's Toughest Fixes. It was a coup for Princess because initially, World's Toughest Fixes was planning on featuring how to secure restaurant reservations on board NCL. <laughs> The Gulf oil leak is still in the news this week as BP has failed again at capping that leaking oil. There have been numerous attempts with projects like Top Kill and Junk Shot where tons of mud and garbage were dumped into the leak with hopes of stopping it. Seizing the opportunity to assist, MSC Cruise Lines has offered to dump all of their onboard waste into the Gulf leak in a project they're calling Crap Shoot. <laughs> hey, you never know. And finally in tonight's commentary, let me tell you a story about a man named Ahmed, a poor cruise ship waiter who barely kept his family fed. Then one day he was serving up some food and up from the Gulf came a bubble in crude. Oil that is, black gold, New Orleans tea. Well, the first thing you know, Ahmed's a millionaire. His busboy said, hey Ahmed, you move away from there. Said Turkey is the place you ought to be. So he loaded up his boat and he sailed to Tripoli. Um. John, I'm afraid Tripoli is the capital of Libya, and not Turkey. <clears throat> well, our time tonight has sailed away. From all of us here at Cruise News, good night. And remember, it's good to be the king. <laughs>